Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about why our interracial marriage came as a shock. Now, some of you might be thinking, what interracial marriage? And that's because to some of you, you might just look and see a black couple. Well, we both come from Zimbabwe and in Zimbabwe, it's quite clear the race demarcations, not as much now, but when we were growing up, it was like the black community, the mixed race community, the white community, the Asian community, the Portuguese community, and they all kind of lived in similar areas, actually. It was a bit weird, I guess, because Zimbabwe only got the independence in 1980, which is like really recent. That's like last week. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and so for a long time, we were still um, under British colony. And unfortunately, huge amounts of racism were rife in the country. For me, I grew up in a kind of family environment that was racist, unfortunately. So for me as a child growing up, I grew up in a very um, I was very aware of, the, of there being different races okay. and that's because of how my, my parents narrative or well, mostly my dad's narrative to me um, about race and about being mixed race and about being fair skinned as mm. well mm. Okay. Um, was like actually if you're fair skinned you're more privileged or you're gonna get far in life and you know? slightly better than slightly better than darker people um, <clears throat> or full black people because in Zimbabwe at the time unfortunately not all, not all, but most, <clears throat> especially people coming from the poorer, less um, privileged. financially privileged um, communities were treated, they were treated badly. And so I guess for him, it's like his vision for my life was that actually if she marries white, she's going to be right. And that's Go exactly, up the ranks. That's guess. exactly the statement that you see here as a child. If it's white, it's all right. If it's black, stay back. Oh, that's a line. Wow. Yeah. Um, if it's white, it's all right. It's all right. If it's black, stay, stay back. back. And my dad used to say to me, do not bring a black man home. He used to say that to me, like, you'll be disowned. It was so wow. bad. And if wow. you know from my our previous videos about like our ch my childhood, that he wasn't safe at the time. And he, unfortunately for him, he grew up in an extremely racist mm. climate. Mm. His grandmother, um, who was mixed race as well. So my whole family is pretty much mixed race. <laughs> You go back three generations before you get a full whatever person. My great 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 grandfather. A pure blood. A pure blood. My great 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 grandfather is Greek. If there's anything like that nowadays, <laughs> pure blood. But anyway, and he married a black woman. Then they had mixed race babies. They married mixed race people who are mixed from whatever other race. And then for on, generations. For generations, that's my dad's side. My mom's side is like great great grandmother had a baby with a black woman. Produced my grandfather. Same thing with my grandmother. Then they produce my mother. So it's one of those things like families mixed with generations, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for my dad, he was his great his grandmother was told by her black mother that she should not play with black children. That wow. she should only play with white children. Um because so she can go up the ranks. Exactly. So she can go up the ranks. So then she, my great my great grandmother now entrenches that into my dad and then tells him not to play with black children, uh, black children and not to marry black women, blah, 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 blah. She was so annoyed when he married my mum, who is um, darker than me, because to her, he basically is marrying a black woman and that's not okay. Um, and so when I then bring home this guy. <laughs> Mom, this is John. Dr. Prentice. Um. So pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you, Mrs. Drayton. I take it Joanna's already busted out with the big news. Well, she has um, t told me a good deal, and all very quickly, too. <laughs> it's a huge problem. So by this point... Pretty much like the movie, Guess Who's Coming for Dinner. <laughs> Let's go to see if you or Mrs. Drayton would have any objections if we got married. Exactly. <laughs> So by this point, my dad is already saying. Oh, except that I wasn't a doctor. Until he said there was a doctor. There is, there is, Doctor John Wade Prentice. This is my dad. Oh, Pleased to oh, meet you. How are you? Nice to know you. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> my dad is already saved, and he is a Christian now, and he has not had to think about this child because none of us have ever brought home a black guy. So it's like, well, I'm okay, right? So then <laughs> I fall in love with him. And oh my gosh, guys, you'll have to find out what happens in the next video. Our family's reaction to us being an interracial couple. Yeah. You don't want to miss that. Click. <laughs>